to all my lovely subscribers I would like to wish you all a very very happy festive season and holiday season and a very very happy new year I would like to also thank you for supporting my channel we have now reached over 20,000 subscribers so I would like to thank you for your support it means a lot to me and it has been uh, a great journey that we've been on for 2019 and let's see what's in store for 2020. My 2020 uh, yearly readings have been posted. Have a listen to those. They are general readings for you. If you would like to book a personal yearly reading, that's an offer that is available to you for December and January only. So if you are interested in that, make sure you visit my website and get your um, and book your reading so that you make sure that you do get that it is only available through December and January if you haven't already subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you do know when I post new videos and uh, you will be one of the first to see them thank you again for all your support Hello my lovely Librans. Welcome to your December 2019 reading. This is the final reading for 2019. So it will see the year out and introduce the new decade 2020 and that's exciting. This is a general reading for you my lovely Librans. It's a reading for Libra Sun, Rising and Moon sign. Also listen to your rising sign and moon sign. Some months they will resonate more for you than your sun sign will. If you need some help in finding out what your rising sign and moon sign is, I have posted a video on how to find your sun rising and moon sign. So it's only it's not very long. So have a listen to that, and there's some links for you to be able to um, find find out what your rising sign and moon sign is. If you would like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and you can book a private reading from there. That will be more specific to you. So let's have a look at what's in store here um, for you. What I'm hearing as I created your spread, my lovely Librans, was catch up, catch up, catch up. I'm feeling like life has turned a corner for you. There are change, There's changes that have already started coming in for you but it is about you catching up to those changes in your mindset so it's about you getting you need to change your mindset to catch up with what's already established what's already started um, which is really interesting so let's see what is in store here for you in your um, in your past position here you've got the wheel of fortune and that tells me that the wheel of fortune is turned has turned in your favor it already has the wheel of fortune has already turned in your favor and life is good life is getting better life you're starting to reap the rewards of your efforts of of putting things in place um, and not seeing any financial rewards or, or rewards in, in your efforts. But that's already started and it's already started. It's in the past position. So that's already there. That's already underway where the wheel of fortune is has already turned in your favor and is is you're riding the crest of that wave. You're riding that wave, but it's about you catching up with that and going oh my gosh things have started to move things have turned around and not stay in that old way of thinking okay which is interesting because your next card here is the um, eight of cups and the eight of cups is about leaving things behind that no longer serve you so it is about leaving behind attitudes behaviors thought patterns self-talk expectations of oh what's going to happen now leaving all that behind and you're ready to do that you're ready to leave that behind and move forward into the future with a new way of looking at life with, with a new way of looking at what you're doing um, what you're achieving and the rewards that you're going to reap from that or you already are starting to reap from that so it's about changing changing those thought patterns 
you're ready to do that and come December you're going to think right okay it's you know it's a new it's a new dawning it's a new dawn let's let's look at life differently for some of you it's about leaving behind things that aren't working for you so that could be a relationship for some of you um, a person a relationship a friendship um, a job this this things something that's not a situation that's not serving you you're so ready to walk away from it because you've invested so much into it you've invested so much effort into it that it's now time to walk away from that situation for your own betterment so that you can move forward to better places be in a better position a better way of thinking nothing's holding you back so you're going to get to this point of review and for some of you it's going to be big for others of you it's going to be smaller issues but they're going to be varying degrees here okay because everyone's an individual it's it's different for everyone um, so it's just where that sits for you but there's going to be this time of review and what that's going to produce is a new you a new start where you are going to be busy or you're going to decide this is the this is my direction this is where I'm going you have that defined and so you can work towards something and working towards something that you love that you want to do is going to give you the benefits going to reap the rewards of what your uh, the abundance that you're seeking abundance in all areas financial as well as all other areas um, because you have this change of attitude change of direction you're working towards a perp your life's purpose you're doing something that brings you pleasure so if you're in a mundane job and you think oh gosh get up I've got to go to work you know nine to five and, and it doesn't suit you you may have other plans other ways of earning an income other things that you want to do that is going to inspire you and in that inspiration and in that joy you're going to reap the benefits of that so those changes that are coming, what you're leaving behind is work-related too, for many of you, work-related. Your attitude towards work, how you're working, um, the angle you're using in your work. Um, it's going to be different for all of you, but there's change there that is going to absolutely see rewards for you, absolutely see rewards for you. And you're going to want to do things fast. The Eight of Wands speaks of new horizons, new opportunities, um, things changing quickly, and you just keeping up. And you and I want to say to you that you you have that sense already in you. You know there's something there that's within grasp. You know there's something there that is just going to take off. So you need to be ready for it. You need to have the right thought patterns, the, the right mental state, the right spiritual state, the right emotional state to, when it happens, grab it and just run with it because it's going to happen quickly. But I feel like there's this, um, this sense of anticipation in, in you, my lovely Librans, um, that things are just going to go and I'm feeling really excited for you because I feel like things are finally falling into place, falling into place because you have worked hard. You've worked hard, you've been dedicated, you've really put in efforts in and it can be in a relationship, in a marriage, uh, in a partnership, in a job, in your own business. It's going to be different for all of you. For some of you, if you're retiring, it's you've worked hard all your life and now it's time to sit back and enjoy the, and reaping the rewards of those of that lifetime of working and all your efforts and really being in, in a really nice place of um, getting the benefits of what you've worked for. So it's going to be different for all of you, but it is going to be a time of um, reaping the rewards of the efforts that you've put into whatever that is for you. And that's going to come and you're going to start seeing results in December. And I feel like for many of you, it's going to be right at the beginning of December. It's almost like here's December, here's, here's, here it is, it's all going to start happening. Of course, timing's going to be different for all of you because your natal charts are all different, but it will happen. It will happen because that's the energy that's coming here for you. It's like this great tsunami. It's like this big, big wave is coming to change things everything for that that you see for you for the better you're just going to be picked up and and moved along with this 
wave of success and abundance that's coming for you absolutely fantastic because you've also got the knight of pentacles and the knight of pentacles is about um, charging ahead it's about charging fearlessly ahead with the success and the abundance that you've got so you that's going to be its own rewards and you're going to want to move forward with it you're going to want to move ahead with it it's not about sitting back and thinking oh yeah that'll happen it's about taking action i want to say to you it's about taking action take action um, in december put things in place don't just plan don't just think about it but actually do it make things happen uh, take charge take control of what's going on around you in december of of plans that you're going to lay of what you're going to do have an active part it's not a time to sit back and let things just unfold for you it's about getting in there boots and all and really making things happen bring that abundance to you attract it to you like a magnet because that's what it's going to be like it's just magnetic so really but it, it, it's going to equate to the efforts that you put in the dedication you put in the motivation that you put in that's going to be the deciding fact they're the scales they're the scales so really get in there don't waste this opportunity so then my lovely Librans let's move along through December and what have we got we've got the you've got the knight of coins and you've got the knight of wands and this is about your passion your enthusiasm life's your life's purpose your creativity your motivation um, it's it's this is an action um, suit it's about taking action it's about being passionate about something about really wanting something and making it happen and move forward courageously and quickly so opportunities are going to come up for you and you're needing to think on your feet, decide on your feet. You don't think, oh, well, let, give me you know, a week to think about it. No, 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 it needs to happen. So things are going to be put to you and you need to decide quickly. You need to know what you want to do. You need to be able to give an answer quickly. Um, it, and it's about following your gut, following what your, your, um, your gut's telling you, your intuition's telling you. It's, it will speak to you. But the knight also, knights also charge in fearlessly. It's they just go, they just take action. It's not time, it, there's no time for thinking here. There's no, you, you, the planning, the time for planning is done. This is about implementing, this is about doing, and this is about reaping the rewards of what's, what's available to you. Because of course, that's also, the next card is your, the chariot card. And the chariot is, you know, these, these, Horses are fiery, they're pulling in opposite directions and it's you that, that steers it, you that controls it, you that is in charge of this chariot and the chariot is your life and so you're in charge of that. You need to hold, take hold of those reins and really steer it in the direction that you want it to go in, not where they want to go, not where outside forces want to take you but where you want to go, where you've decided to go, what you've decided to do and the changes that you've decided to bring in or not bring in. That's totally up to you how you do that but you it's it's about you having control of this thing you taking charge of this thing so that when the changes come in you know which way which direction you're going to go in which way you're going to go doesn't matter which way you go you just make decisions and do that because you're going to really have the fire in your belly it's a really busy month for you in December a month of things really falling into place and really happening you've worked so long to get to this point and this is now the point where things are going to fall into place things are going to start happening things are going to start moving for you in whichever area that you've been working on then that's totally up to you you're all different but things will start moving ahead and reaping those results because you've also got the three of coins and see that to me is there's work there there's work to be done. There's work to be done, but it's going to reap your the re, just rewards. That looks like Notre Dame, doesn't it? That's been burnt down. So it's about being busy. It's about being busy and it's about having the just rewards. You're going to get the financial rewards for your efforts, but there's going to, you're going to be working long hours. 
you're going to be working, which is a really good thing to be. So if there's doubt there with you, if you think, oh, well, when's that going to happen or how's that going to happen, trust that the universe has your back. Trust that this is the stage that you're at and it's going to be there. So listen to your self-talk. Listen to your the way, the way you're thinking and your expectation because that's what creates your reality. It's about having an expectation that it's going to work having the affirmations in place for you to manifest what it is you want moving forward because it's a month of moving forward. It's like what I'm seeing here is the wheels of a carriage stuck in mud and it's like you've just been bounced out of this bog and, and away you go and the wheels of fortune are, go, are turning for you, are moving for you, are bringing to you what you're needing and what you're, you're desiring and what you want to create. You have another three here and it's the three of wands and the three of wands is your ship's coming in, your ship's come in, it's all gold, isn't it wonderful? Your ship's come in for, you know, bringing, bringing all the rewards, all the silks, all the gold, all the, all the, all the, all the wonderful things that they've found in their travels is coming towards you. For some of you, it's planning a trip overseas. It's planning a holiday over water. For some of you, it's work across the water, across the oceans. You know, this is the trade, trade ship. I feel like it's the trade ship. This is what I'm hearing. It's the trade ship. And so it's about trading overseas, sending your products overseas, working overseas as well. So you, you're, you're going to be expanding and working overseas as well. And even if you're working for a corporation or a, or a company, it, there's work overseas for you or, or connecting with and interacting with people overseas. So there's opportunities there for you. Um, that abound and that is going to be the beginning of 2020 that's going to see you move into 2020 with this expansion I feel like there's expansion coming there for you there's expansion around you um, that is there for you um, to reap so I really like that Let's, I'm going to draw a card from the saltwater reading cards and we'll see what you get here let's see what have you got the eel the eel. The eel is, is about, you know, eels are very, it says defensive. It, they're very protective. They're very defensive of their, their nest, their hiding place, where they are. They will come out and, and um, frighten off any predators or anyone that's there. And it's about you um, guarding your success. It's about you really being protective of how far you've come. Don't allow other people to come in and, and give their opinion or listen to them or empower others with ideas. This is your effort. This is what you've done to get as far as you have. And so there needs to be a protectiveness about how far you've come and what you've achieved as well. So there's about, it's about being protective. It's about playing, holding your cards close to your chest, not letting out too much information, but really not allowing others to come in and uh, tell you how to run things or tell you what to do or tell you what you should be doing or should not be doing. And I hate that word should. I really dislike it. It's not about judgment. So it's about you being protective of how far you've come and what you have achieved as well so you know protect your little domain and and trust in yourself because remember you've got the chariot and that's about you making your own decisions you calling it okay here I'm going to draw angels of abundance you know I like these cards they summarize the month so well all the time um, so let's have a look here what it says ah it says release jealousy that's interesting isn't it let's have a read of that and see what it says jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have some that you don't have something and the universe manifests exactly as you affirm let others successes inspire you rather than frustrate you if they can have it so can you okay so that makes sense to me because it's about really it's about you Looking at other people and going, wow, they're so successful. Isn't that fabulous? You know, that's that's what I would strive to be rather than looking at, at someone and going, oh, well, you know, 
they've got it all, they're really successful, they've, all, they've made it, I haven't, you know, and, and that just affirms what you don't have. So it really is about looking to other successes and being happy for them and saying that's fabulous and there's enough to go around for everyone and that's what I'm going to strive for rather than, you know, but, but they're, they start at the same time as me, they're more successful than me, they're in a better place than me. That's what you're affirming. You've got to get out of that self-talk because it's happening for you. And remember what I said at the very beginning, you need to catch up with the success that's already around you. Get out of the old thought patterns, release those and move on because that's what this card's telling you. Release those old thought patterns and move on to what the reality is around you. And the reality is that you're going to start being rewarded for your efforts, for the, what, you've, what you've achieved and, and the work you've put in. That's really important. So I wish you many, many blessings. I hope that resonates for you if you'd like to book a private reading with me you can follow the link below and book a reading from there don't forget my yearly 2020 readings are available the videos have already been posted if you would like a personalized 2020 yearly reading then make sure you book that because it's available for December and January only so make sure you get in with that. Many blessings. Happy New Year and I will see you in 2020.